but we're talking about God putting us in some situations or allowing us to come into some situations, some by his divine plan and some by our own doing. There's a difference. There are some things that we're in because we did it. We made a mess. We jacked things up. But he's still faithful to us in those situations. I don't hear nobody. You would think the right thing to do would be to let us simmer in our junk that we disobey God to do. But that's not the heart of our God. The heart of our God is I knew the mess you were going to make before you made it. And I made provision for your forgiveness. All you got to do is repent and ask me. I don't hear anybody here. That should have said that something in you. That should have resonated in you. Because every one of us have been in that position where we knew to do good and did wrong. And found that God was still faithful to us. Still faithful. Brother Thornton, still faithful. I mean, there are some things that God allows because it's for the trying of our faith. To see how we're going to navigate through this. Sometimes God allows us to sail into the middle of an upcoming storm. To see what we're going to do and will we utilize the faith that he has matured in us. Because he's matured some faith through the things that we've been through in time past. But the one thing that we must understand that he is a faithful God. Regardless of our situations, he has always remained faithful and he is not about to change now. Oh, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. You think that I'm just giving you a preamble. I'm trying to tell you that our faith is being put to the test for us to prove that we are faithful. God doesn't have to prove his faithfulness. We've got to prove that we are full of faith. And God has everything under control. I wish I had some excited believers in here. That's excitement. Oh my God. That, that, that's excitement. That, 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 that is the best you have for this redemptive power that comes from Jesus Christ. I pray to God that you're praising him at home. Because in here we're a little low. But I tell you, if we would just recognize the power of God, the mercy of God, it would ignite something inside of us. Somebody break free from your complacency and give God a great praise here. Uh, this is not how we celebrate God. This is how we keep a tradition of Sunday service. But when you enter into his gates, you enter in with thanksgiving. When you enter into his court, you enter in with praise. You should be thankful and bless his name for the Lord is always good. And his mercy endures. You may be seated. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to push any further than you're willing to go. I'll just preach and whoever catches it catch it sometimes you cannot you cannot account for everyone's con condition but i came in here praising god my plane landed at 10 40 and i got in my car by about 11 o'clock and i drove in the snow praising god waiting to get into the sanctuary and when i get here this is all we got uh oh pandemically full house but not full of praise a pandemically full house but not full of worship oh i'm going to i'm going to continue until i break somebody's bondage because this is the place where you're supposed to come to be free this is the place of liberty this is the place of freedom this is the place of praise. This is the house of prayer. This is the place of worship. This is not a place to watch television. This is a place to offer God praise. This is a praise party. This is a celebration of the sanctified. 
This is. This is. We'll move on. We'll move on because we are. We are down the time. But if I got to do this by myself, I'm, I'm a praiser before I'm a pastor. I, I, I'm a servant. I'm a son. I, I still enjoy Jesus. I still. I started, Irene, I started on the plane. When they asked me to go into the galley and have prayer with them on the plane, I prayed on the plane with the flight attendants. Because no matter where I am, I got to praise. I got to. No matter where I am, I'm who I am. I'm, and I'm not a pastor, I'm a son. I'm not a preacher, I'm a servant. You don't hear what I'm telling you. I preach because I'm called, but I serve because I've been chosen. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise in your heart. I'm sitting on the plane and I'm praying on the plane. I'm praying on the plane and sitting there with my mask on because you can pray when you got your mask on. They don't know, they don't see you pray at all. And I'm sitting there and the flight attendant came and said, Can we can we take a picture? And I got up and went to the galley. And then another flight attendant came and she said, could, I, I thank you for the picture, but could you have prayer with us, please? And they called another flight attendant and we had prayer i didn't care who heard us i'm doing this for the whole plane they don't know that i'm offering a prayer and supplication on behalf of everything on that plane that god would be glorified you better believe that evangelism goes past the church it goes anywhere that you go can i hear somebody give god that praise we are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. We are not ashamed to be who we are wherever we are. And to the, to the enemy's chagrin, to the enemy's defeat, to the enemy's demise, we are who we are. For God has purchased us. God has secured us. We carry the bloodstained banner. We lift up a standard. We walk holy. Whether we're in this house or watching on our smart device, we are the children of the Most High God. And there's nothing that Satan can do about this. You may be seated if you can, but I'm, I'm at warfare right now. I'm in warfare right about now. I'm at warfare. The attack of the enemy against the saints comes to an end. We walk all time that I'm The attack against the enemy uh, from the enemy against the saints we have the power to overcome and we overcome by the blood of the lamb by the words of our testimony god has given us victory we belong to him we belong to god we belong to God you may be seated in the presence of the Lord we belong to God good to see you Lester and Sharon Mackie God bless your hearts we belong to God good to see you Marcia God bless your heart we belong to God he has put his stake in our ground 
his flag is unfurled over our lives we are marked territory the boundary lines of the blood are around us we are the property of Jesus Christ we are children sons and daughters of the most high God and we will not allow the enemy to wreak havoc in our hearts our minds our emotions our thoughts our life we will wage war in our mind we will wage war in our hearts we will wage war over our families we will not allow the enemy any foothold did you hear me we will not allow the enemy to shake our ground. We will not allow the enemy to run ripshod through our minds and our thoughts. We will not allow the enemy to make us think other than the word has said. I don't care what's going on. The one thing that you will not do is shake me in the place that I'm secure. I know in whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able I know whom I have believed. I know him personally. I know whom I have believed. I talk with him daily and he talks to me. I know in whom I have believed. I believe so strong that it turned into knowledge. I know whom I have believed. And I am totally persuaded can't shake me you can't take me off my mark i am persuaded you can't sway me and you can't change the way i know the faith that i have i am persuaded that god is able to keep that which i have committed unto him against that day i committed my life and my life is in his hand and there's nothing that Satan can do. And there's nothing that my natural enemy can do. I have already been sealed to the day of redemption. The Holy Ghost has sealed me. Please forgive me. I'm Pentecostal today. I am a preacher of the gospel today. The Holy Ghost has sealed me. Somebody make that declaration. The Holy Ghost has sealed my mind. The Holy Ghost has sealed my heart. The Holy Ghost has sealed my life. The Holy Ghost. And I reject and rebuke, cast down and destroy every thought against that. There, there, there's a warfare going on. In, this, uh, in these last days, these are the last of the last days. In these last days, the enemy has increased his assault. But we are more than ready. We've been through boot camp. We've been through the exercise already. We've already beat the lesser demons. We can handle these that are coming right now. We are more than capable. We are more than able. We can kill the giants in the promised land. We can slay the Goliath in the name of Jesus. We can take the jawbone of the ass and whoop down every enemy. In the mighty name of the name, the Nebuchadnezzar, the name above every name. We are more than capable. We will not be whipped or defeated by the enemy. Did you hear me? We will not. We are trees planted by the river of water. We shall not be moved. We are steadfast. We are unmovable. Always abounding, always abounding. When you see me, I'm always abounding in the work of the Lord. And my labor is not in vain. Satan is defeated. I stand as a living testimony. Satan could not accomplish nor pull off his task. He has been undone. And I stand on the top of his head declaring I am victorious. Do I have anybody here? Do I have anybody here? You got to get militant with the enemy. Militant militant in the book of Isaiah Isaiah 19, 59 and 19 it says 
so shall they hear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun in the east. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall counteract him and lift up a standard against him. I'm going to stop there. They're going to hear about God from the west to the rising of the sun in the east. He didn't say north or south. He said from the west to the east. For there is no end to that circle. You never know when the east turns west and when the west turns east. It is a perpetual cycle. Hallelujah. You can travel as far west as you can. But when does it turn into the east? We'll turn that Moshe up. And the, and the name of the Lord shall be heard from the far reaches of the west all the way around the world to the east. And when the enemy tries to stop this, and when the enemy tries to stop us, God will remind the enemy, that's my job. That's my property. And the standard of the Lord, the standard, that's the flag that's put in the ground. When you, when, when you conquer a territory, you put your flag in the ground. You unfurl the flag and let it wave in the air, denoting that this property has been conquered and belongs to a specific kingdom. Oh, this property has been conquered and belongs to a specific kingdom. Now understand this. You said when the enemy comes in like a flood, that simply means that the enemy's got to move real fast. He's got to move real fast to try to catch you off guard. He's got to move real quickly to try to catch you unawares. He's got to hit you hard, fast, and continuously. And, and he, moves, he moves with such precise, you know, laser precision, hitting you in the weakest area of your thought, heart, life, mind. He comes and hits you quickly to cause you to be nervous, to catch you off guard, to cause you to first be frustrated, to fear, to cause you to become anxious. Oh, but if you just settle your spirit, stand still. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Quiet your spirit. No matter how hard he hits you, he can't destroy you. Quiet your spirit. No matter what he's dealing with in your life, it's got to end. Quiet your spirit and focus in on glory. Stand still. You've done worse before, Satan, and I overcame you before. I can whoop you again by the power of the cross, by the power of the blood, by the power of the name. I can whoop you. I don't hear nobody here. I can whoop you again. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Y'all sitting there a little too today. We're talking warfare. We're talking about hitting him harder than he hit us. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The apostle said, resist the devil. He says, Satan goes about as a, rush, as, as a roaring lion. He tries to fake it like he's a roaring lion with teeth and claws. He tries to fake it. But the truth of the matter is he's been declawed. And he's toothless. And he's powerless. And he's under our feet. And God has given us dominion. And God has given us a thought. I don't hear the warriors. And God has given us authority. He's given us the power to cast down every stronghold. Cast down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. He gave us the power to bring into cast activity every thought huh? i feel a jackie mccullough spirit huh? every thought huh? to the obedience of christ huh? or oh, somebody praise him here praise him here praise him here no 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 
No, no, no. He will not. He will not fool me. He will not deceive me. The flag of God is in my ground. I belong to God. And there's no devil in hell. There's no demonic force. There's no psychological power. There's no depression that can move me from who I am. I am a son. You are a daughter of the most high God. And we have authority. I'm preaching better than you're hearing. We have authority. And it's time for us to ball up our fists and roll up our spiritual sleeves and knock the devil back to where he belongs. He has no place in our mind, in our home, in our finance, in our health. Somebody got to help. From our children. To our children's children. To our children's children's children. He has no authority. He is illegal. Satan's intervention is illegal. And we've got the power to arrest him. Y'all not hearing me. We've got the power to arrest the illegal activity of the satanic powers in our marriages, in our families, in our homes, in our in our employment, in our schools. We've got the power to arrest the enemy in the mighty matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our past cannot stop us. Our past does not disqualify us. As a matter of fact, our past qualifies us because God has taken us out of that horrible pit and established our feet on the rock and we are called because of his mercy. His spirit of reconciliation has given us authority. He has reconciled us back to God and God has given us full right God has given us full right. Power is we don't take it seriously. We don't cancel everything that the enemy set up. Go through our home and walk through every square inch of it. And, and command the enemy. Get out of this place. Lay your hands on your wife and your husband. and Rub his head, rub her head. And tell him the blood of Jesus cover you. Mother and father, lay your hand on your children. Lay your hand on them and tell them the blood of Jesus covers you. I cover us and you. Everything that is attached to me, I will walk in the spirit and I will claim victory. The same banner that's over me is over you. The same banner. The same banner. The same standard that's over me is over you. I refuse to let the enemy have my children. I refuse. If you really want to see a mother and father at their best, mess with their kids. If you really want to see the teeth of a, of a lioness and the claws of a lion, mess with their children. And I got news for the enemy. There's some of us parents that rolled up our sleeves and we see the addictions of our children and we see the misbehavior of our children and we serve Satan. Notice that that is not that is not the will of God for my children, my skion, my inheritance. No, 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 no. You will lose them and let them go. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. And guess what? I've got the keys to the kingdom of heaven. That whatsoever I bind on the earth. Oh, Jesus. Whatever I bind on the earth. It... Whatever, whatever I find on it, it's bound in heaven. God's got my back in this. And if I bind you, he binds you. 
And if I loose peace and if I loose salvation, he'll loose it too. You don't hear what I'm saying. I am his ambassador on this earth. I speak the kingdom agenda. And whatever the kingdom declares, so I say. And it will be so in the name of Jesus. I wish I had somebody who knew your authority. I feel a breakthrough in this room. It's not like it was when I came in. Somebody got stirred up in their spirit. Somebody got your wall clothes on. Somebody's got your shield of faith. Somebody's got your sword of the spirit. Somebody's got your breastplate of righteousness. Somebody's got your head crowned with the helmet of salvation. Feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Loins gone about with truth. And we're going to war against the devil. He should have never messed with us. Should have left us alone. He's a slow learner. Not only will our God take care of us, but God has given us the power to take care of the devil. He said, behold, I give you power. You don't even have to call on me. Behold, I give you power. Tread upon the serpent. Tread upon the scorpion. Tread upon all the power of the There goes another demon under my feet. There goes another failed attempt of the enemy by the grace of God. I've got the power in the name of Jesus. I've got the power in the name of the Lord. Though Satan tries to rage, I will not be defeated. Somebody scream in this room. I hear that warfare. I hear that warfare. Somebody just grabbed a hold of their problem and put the blood on it. Somebody just brought down the very thing that's been tormenting them. Go forth, warrior. Go forth, warrior. Go forth. Tear it down. Pull it down. Cast it down. That's it. Take control. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Take control. It doesn't control you anymore. Take control. It doesn't weigh heavy on you anymore. Take control. It doesn't cause you to fear anymore. Take control. You're not confused anymore. Take control. You're not condemned anymore. I feel that breakthrough heavy in this room. That anointing destroyed that yoke. That's right. Get your children back. Get your marriage back. Get your health back. Get your mind back. Get your peace back. Get your love back. Oh! So come to the Listen to that sound. It's the sound of victory. It's the sound of victorious believers. Behold, I give you power. 
That's what Jesus said. Be a hog. I did do power. Tread on that serpent. Tread on that scorpion. Tread. Tread on all the power. Over me. 